Talk a little bit about the connection between our gut health and what we see now is a rise in autoimmune conditions. Is there a link between the two and how, how so? For sure. I mean, 70% um, of the immune system is located in the gut. So think about that for a second. 70% of our immune system for our whole body is in the gastrointestinal tract. It's modulated by the microbiome. And so when we have a series of drips in the bucket, toxins, not sleeping, a lot of stress, not eating well, not exercising, all these are drips and drips and drips in the bucket. And this drives inflammation. Inflammation has its main source in the microbiome. And so when you get to a certain point where the bucket is full and now something happens and it tips it over, you get inflammation. Uh, inflammation and then the body starts attacking that inflammation or helping modulate that and whether that settles down in your joints and you get rheumatoid arthritis or settles down in your skin, you get eczema, you know, this is the concept of intestinal permeability or leaky gut. You have, uh, you know, damage to the intestinal lining where, um, bacteria and food particles can get through now the, ba the intestinal lining, get into the bloodstream, and then the immune system launches an attack and it just sometimes doesn't know when to shut off. And that's where you get autoimmunity and in, in, uh, inflammation. And it could be in different parts of the body for different people depending on the circumstances. Mm -hmm. So you talked about leaky gut a little bit where, where we actually have damage to the lining. Can we fix that naturally? How can we do that? And will that in turn clear up any autoimmune conditions if we start there? It can definitely help. I mean, I have seen people, you know, in my practice where they come with two or three uh, autoimmune issues and we talk to them about diet, we talk to them about lifestyle, all these kind of things, maybe put them on a certain program based on what's going on, you know, uh, in their health, body and life. And I have seen people um, completely have resolution of their symptoms. Mm -hmm. I had a patient a few years ago who had really bad eczema and we talked about diet, nutrition and put her on some supplements and things and uh, eczema completely resolved within a few months. So definitely can happen. So what are the natural ways to do that? How do you heal leaky gut naturally? So there are a lot of things that you can do. Um, the first thing you have to do is talk to the person and find out what's going on in their life and address those issues. Um, at the core of my leaky gut program is, you know, looking at the parameters of lifestyle medicine. You know, what's going on stress-wise, what's going on toxin-wise, what are they eating. The, if you don't address these issues at the, at the baseline, which are at the core of health, then it doesn't matter how many supplements you take, you're still going to probably have the problem because you're not getting at some of the root causes of why the problem even occurs. But there are things that you can use like um, zinc carnosine, um, boswellia, turmeric, um, L-glutamine, um, colostrum, a wide variety. It really depends on what's going on. Um, in the patient's life, you know, there are probiotics, prebiotics, different kinds of probiotics um, that we can use uh, to kind of help heal the gut. 